Are you stuck on how to find the percent compositions of chromium nitrogen and oxygen and chromium 3 nitrate? Well, we've come to the right place. I'm going to simplify it for you. Watch how quick this is. First thing is we're going to solve for the molar mass. Let's take a look. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements I see in the compound, right? So we see chromium, CR, we see nitrogen, N, and we see oxygen, O. Next is then to take into account the number of atoms of each element we have, and we have run one chromium there, right? If there's no subscript, that means that there is a value of one. So there's one chromium. Nitrogen, there's also a value of one, but wait a minute, Nitri nitrogen is inside of this nitrate polyatomic anion, and you have three of those polyatomic anions, so therefore you'd have three nitrogens, right? Well, simply you got to do is just take those two subscripts and multiply them together. All right, so that's going to be a three, and then the same thing for oxygen. Just take the subscript of oxygen, multiply it by the outer subscript, and that's going to be a total of nine. Then all we have to do is take those number of, uh, numbers of atoms and multiply them by the mass of each particular element. Where do we find the mass? We find it on the periodic table. Let's take a look. Boom! There it is. Chromium 52, nitrogen 14 about, and oxygen 16. So we're going to write in those masses, right? So chromium here is about 52. Nitrogen is about 14.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. All we got to do then to find the total mass in each uh, or of each element, we just simply got to multiply this row on across. So 1 times 52. Hopefully I know what that is, right? 14.01 times 3, hopefully I also know what that is. So that's about 42.03. And then 19 or 9 times uh, 16 will be approximately 144, all right? Same thing as like 12 times 12. Huh, I wonder why that works. Anyway, to find the total mass of the compound, just simply add this all together. Don't multiply it as I just wrote there. You're going to add it. Don't multiply it. Just seeing if you're paying attention. You're going to add up that whole column, right? And this is how we then find the total mass. So the 238... I think it's going to work out to be, be, be about 0.03 maybe. So that was the first step of the process, right? We had to find these total molar mass or total mass. And then we can now find the percents of each element inside of this entire compound. I'm going to add a column to help us out. Bam. So now to find the mass percent of, let's say, chromium, all we have to simply do is take the total mass of the chromium divided by then the total mass of the compound. Look at how organized this is. It's so nice and simple now. Right, take that and divide it by the total mass, 238, 200, that's a 52, by the way. I'm not really sure what that looks like, but it's a 52, 238.03. And then take that and multiply it by 100. This is a simple percent calculation, part, percent calculation, part of a whole times 100. I'm not really sure what's going on with my brain, but it is apparently short-circuiting. So this is going to be 21.85% roughly, all right? Then we would do the same thing for nitrogen. The percent of nitrogen is going to be the total mass of that nitrogen. So it's going to be 442.03 divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 238.03. Multiply that by 100. And this is going to work out to be about 17 now, 17.66 or so percent. All right. Last but not least, we got our auction. Take the 144. I'm going to leave out the decimals. Divide that by 238.03. Multiply that by 100, and you get now a percentage of roughly about 60 point, I don't know, 50 or so, depending upon how you round. Now again, all these percentages should add up to 100. If you add up the exact percentages, it will. But if you add up these rounded percents, it might be off by, let's say, 0.01, all right? It depends on how much you rounded and, and in which direction. But all right, that's all there is to it. Very simple, easy peasy. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not as much as I enjoyed making it, because this is great. I love this. All right, I really look forward to helping you with more problems. We've got thousands of videos out there. Physics, mathematics, chemistry, a lot more coming. Biology, biochemistry. All right, oh, I'm getting dizzy thinking about it. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.